Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. In today's video, we'll look at how you can create steps, text effect in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Uh, there are two ways to create this design. The first way is using the Photoshop vanishing point option, and the second way is using the 3D rotate in Adobe Illustrator. So we'll be understanding these two techniques in full in depth. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen how you can create blend text effect using the text. Uh, so we have seen how you can blend between two text. We have seen how you can blend between two strokes. And then we have seen also how you can create uh, blend colors using the text. So uh, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at how you can create these steps text effect using very simple technique. The first technique is using the Photoshop vanishing point and the second technique is using the uh, illustrator 3d rotate option so let's look at the first technique so for that let's open a new photoshop document so for that uh, let's go to file and open a new photoshop document set the document size to 2000 by 1 2 double zero pixel and 300 ppi and then create once you have opened your Photoshop document, let's begin with the designing process. So here, the first thing we're going to create is this. We're going to uh, see how we can apply the steps text effect to an alphabet. And we're going to create two different alphabet. And after that, we, have, we will also see how we can apply the same technique to a word like this. So let's create this one. So if you want to create this, the first thing we're going to do is to type our, our text. So let's type out a text. Let's say M okay and let's uh, scale the size come on control t and the scale of the size like this okay so i'll just keep it something similar to this and then click okay and now i'll change the color to something great this so i'll just pick a color or I mean just text t and over here click on it and pick this color okay for now light gray and then now and after that let's type out other text as well so i'll type out a and then as well as d so create a duplicate of it and I'll just type out capital D and here we go. So we'll apply this steps text effect to all these three alphabets. So let's see. So now the first thing we're going to do is to create this steps using the vanishing point. So to create this, I'll go uh, to the layer over here and let's uh, first thing we're going to do is to create a new layer and now go to effect vanishing point and over here we can draw out so our vanishing point uh, shape like this. So this is our previous design. As you can see, I have drawn out one, two, three surfaces and I have applied this text over here. So how we can create this, I'll show you now. So I just delete this. Okay, and now let's create it from the basic. So for here, as you can see, this is little uh, tilted. So I'll create, click one point around here and give some angle, something like this okay and then click one around here and for this we'll keep it something straight click and then we'll go over here and click it over here this will and after that we'll use this uh edit plane tool and just uh tweak this angle point so just click the corner and just set something like this so as you can see the color is blue that means it's okay when it changes red or yellow it means it's not uh, functioning properly so you have to make sure that it's blue so I'm just dragging it in and over here you can uh, decide how much perspective angle of depth you want to give to your text or alphabet so we'll keep it something similar to this okay and I'll just do some little adjustment over here as well something like this and now uh, click this select this create plane tool and you can using this tool you can create a plane so if you click at this point and drag it out you can see you can create a plane so i'll just drag it out something here it's this much you can extend it to infinite so you can in extend it as per you need but for this design we need something similar to this so we'll give some depth like this and after that i'll just select this create plane tool again and I'll just click over here and drag it down and let's give it a depth something similar to this much. So we have created three surfaces like this and now let's say you want to apply this text to here. So for that we'll do some steps. So I'll just click OK now and now let's say you want to do this. So I'll just hide out the rest and over here select this M and with the command or control pressed click on the thumbnail and this will make a selection right and now copy the selection command control C okay so it's copied now let deselect this command control D to deselect and then I'll just hide this out now as we have created a new layer over here just select that layer and now go to filter vanishing point and here it is 
over here you can just drop that text over here so i'll just paste it come up into v here is it and if you drag it down over here you can see it's snapping in that perspective angle so this does this so i'll just place it somewhere around here and now i'll just extend the height so use this tool transform tool and now just extend the height till the edge and do the same for the bottom as well till the edge and as you can see we have created that nice m and if you want to make it thinner you can just make it thin or broad it's your choice so we'll keep it something similar to this and i'll click ok and our m text is ready and now as you can see we got some depth over here like this shade is lighter this shade is gray and this shade is lighter so we need to give it manually so now for that i'll just click on this thumbnail with the command control pressed and now we'll use the pen tool and draw a section so select the pen tool and just click one around here then other at this corner then around one around here then around here click and now right click make selection and under this make selection we'll choose this intersect with selection so this we want this a section to be selected so this select this intersect with selection subtract from selection means this region will be subtracted from the selection what we need is we need only this section so intersect with selection and okay so we got the selection and now i'll just pick this color i pick it this is light dark gray color and then alt backspace and here it is the color is applied command control d to deselect and our first text is ready now let's say you want to create this apply this to the a as well so i'll just bring out this a here click on the thumbnail with the command control pressed uh copy this command control c then hide it deselect it and now it's going to be the same steps so every time you make a text or make a selection of the text copy it and you want to create it you need to create a new layer first here this layer is for m right so for the a layer we need new layer so i created a new layer here now go to filter vanishing point and over here uh, we have already created this right so i'll just paste the alphabet and just drag and drop it over here and it will automatically snap and as you can see this is snapping in a different angle and you can change it here as well go to transform tool and here with a shift press just rotate it like this so 45 degree or 90 degree like that rotate that and now let's extend this till the edge okay and then do the same for the base and just see if it's okay there's this you if you want to reduce the thickness um make it make it a little thinner and our alphabet a is ready now i'll create okay and just place it around here and now let's apply the color so uh for that let's make a selection so select the pen tool then with the convert command or control press make a selection and then now let's draw a section so click 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 and click right click make selection then intersect with selection and ok and alt backspace and it's applied command control d to deselect so a is ready let's do the same for the d so i'll just do the same follow the same steps i'll click on thumbnail to make the selection with the command control pressed uh, for that you have to select that layer first and command control c to copy and now i'll just unhide this deselect it add a new layer just like the previous two and then go to filter vanishing point come on control v just drag and drop it there then transform tool let's increase the height here and then till here okay and you can just reduce the thickness a little bit similar to this and click ok and place it somewhere around here so just move this text here now pen tool make a selection click 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 right click make selection intersect with selection okay and we have all to pick the color this fill color dark gray just apply it all backspace and our first uh text uh, steps text effect is done we have applied the effect uh, to, into three different alphabet and the steps were so simple so easy once you have created the base vanishing shape points you can apply any alphabet to it and it becomes 
very easy you can create any design within few seconds now let's look at how you can apply the same effect to a word so let's say you want to create this design so first thing you're gonna do is to create that vanishing point so let's create that let's add a new layer okay and now I'll go to filter vanishing point and now let's draw it out so let's say you want to draw something so I'll just click then something around here something this much click and this one will give it something this much height and here I'll keep it something like this okay and now using this uh, plane tool that's edit plane tool you can just do some adjustments if you need so I'll just do some little bit of adjustment just to make it a little plane and here a little bit of angular tilt something like this and now using the create plane tool I'll just click and drag and just see if this surface comes out perfectly so I'll just click over here and drag it out and as you can see I need a little bit more tilt it's little uh like facing upward we need little downward so control Z and we'll do little more adjustments so click the corners so it's all about adjustments to this two surfaces so if you want to give a different look to your design you need to edit these four corners just to get that effect so I'll just do something a little bit of planar like this and now if I again select this and just click and drag it out it's not working so we need to make sure you are editing it perfect so just go there and do the adjustments until you get the perfect design so like a little bit of inward and a little bit of inward. let's see now okay so you can see I did some adjustments and I got the effect I wanted for my design so I think this looks great and I'll create a few more duplicate of this so just click and you just drag it down like that little depth and then again click and it will automatically uh, like create the surface according to the perspective of your first shape so if you create this first shape properly it will automatically adjust the perspective depth according to your first two surfaces so it's very simple and very easy and now let's select this and I'll just create a few more duplicate of the surface a bit down so one two three four five six seven so I need seven surfaces so I need two more click drag extend it okay and then again last surface click drag and extend it so here we go we have created this nice steps and let's see how we can apply these uh, words uh, any word you have to this step so I'll just click OK now and let's type out a word so let's see D B O O H O H so this is the word I have written I'll just scale this command or control T scale it up okay and let's see if the font is good uh, we need to do some adjustments with the font so I'll go over here T and go to this characters and over here let's do some adjustments so let's reduce the spacing first so I'll reduce the spacing to around 70 okay so okay this looks great I think this is good now let's apply it so let's uh, go to layer and click on the thumbnail with the command control pressed make a selection copy it command control C and now I'll just hide this select this new layer we have created and let's deselect the selection command control D and now I'll go to filter vanishing point okay so I'll just hide this one filter vanishing point and here it is command or control V paste the text and let's snap it so first surface it's very huge so let's scale it down okay so we'll scale it down using the transform tool let's place it at this one corner other on this one edge and let's increase the height okay just like this and now I'll create one more duplicate with the all press you can just click and drag and it will automatically snap it to the other surface so easy like this I'll create one more duplicate so with the all press click and drag and you have created on the surface and it will apply to the other surface and snap it perfectly as per your need like this now I'll, if you want to create one more just with the all press click and drag and here it is on the other surface 
So, so simple, so easy. And this technique is one of the easiest way to create steps text effect in Photoshop. Vanishing point helps you create a perspective angle with lots of surfaces. And you can use this technique to create any kind of perspective text or image or anything. Anything related to perspective, you can use a vanishing point and it's so easily created. And over here, as you can see, we have finally applied the font to all the surfaces without like going to some complex steps. It was just copy paste, copy paste, and that's all. And once you are done, you can do a little bit of adjustment. Like if you want to give some gap over here and then click OK. And here we go. We have created the same design using the vanishing point so here it is the final design we have created this two design the first one was applying the steps to the alphabets and we have applied it to three different alphabets in the second design we have applied to a font and as you can see we have used a word and duplicated it for multiple number of times and we have applied to each of the surfaces separately now let's look at the other ways to create out these steps text effect and for that let's jump to illustrator so let's open the illustrator document and now in the illustrator we're going to look at how you can create uh, the steps uh, text like this you can how you can apply to a word and how you can apply to a number like this so let's see how you can create this so in illustrator it's a little different we're going to use 3d rotate and before that we have some few steps that you need to know to create this so let's say you want to create this effect so i'll just type out a word so let's say w o r d word and scale the size okay and let's change the color so i'll change the color to white and click okay so here is our word and now let's say you want to create this so first thing you're going to do is to expand this so go to object and expand it and this is now fill object so now once you have expanded the word or the alphabet select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on top of the word and here uh, after that let's extend the edges and just make sure the these top edges and bottom edges are perfectly aligned so just go there and align them in the same way go down there and align them like this and once you have done that select everything before that just lock them up let's lock all the background surfaces command control 2 as you can see um, for this word i have given five section one two three four five five surfaces are this for that select the shape go to object path and split into grid and the, using this we're going to give five surfaces five splits to this grid so let's one give one two three four five and then click ok and here it is and now select everything go to pathfinder and just click on divide and this will divide everything after that ungroup it and now deselect these words so just with shift press click 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 so we i am deselecting every surface related to the word and after that I'm going to delete all the rest so just deselect everything with a shift pressed click 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 and this will help you uh, delete all the unnecessary surface that you don't need and once you have deselected all the word shapes just click delete and here we are left only the word we need and now we are going to do some grouping so select all the top pieces and combine them so click on unite and this is now one object do the same for the rest of the pieces so this piece unite select these pieces unite select these pieces unite them and then the last pieces unite them so these all these uh, pieces are now single object now the next thing we're going to do is to apply 3d rotate so first select these alternate surfaces and go to effect 3d rotate and under rotate uh, here we got some options these options are really cool you don't need to do any adjustments with this value you just go over here and as you can see uh, over here this is the 
top one so i'm going to select this top isometric top so this will give you isometric top surface facing the top one these surfaces are facing the top if you select isometric left it will face the left or isometric right it will face right so for this one i need isometric top and then click ok and i'll just go object and expand appearance now select these are the two i'll just pick different color for this so i'll just pick these light gray dark gray color and now go to effect 3d rotate and here we'll do for the same steps and for fathers we to give this left facing surface so isometric left and then click ok and then object expand and once you have done that we're gonna uh, do the placement so and let's do the adjustment so let's move it using the arrow first just do little adjustments and after that we're gonna uh, make it very close to each other so now once you have done that let's do it manually and make sure that there is no gaps in between so just place them very close to each other do this for the other surface at this edge select this one make it properly attached and do the same for the last piece and here we go if you zoom it out you can see some cool word effect just similar to this and if you see there are gaps you can just go in and then just do the adjustments properly so just make sure the gaps are being uh, like attached properly and this is how you can create the steps text effect in Adobe Illustrator using the 3d rotate option let's select these and just scale this up and I'll just place it around here so this was the first uh, design and we have created and we have applied to a word now let's apply to a number and the will follow the same steps so it's very easy let's do it let's type out a number five zero 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 I'll just scale this up and I'm gonna choose a font for this so let's choose a nice font okay something like that and I'll just scale this down a little bit something longer like that and I'll change the color to white for now let's uh, keep it something like this okay now let's see how we can apply this so um, first of all expand it object expand then after that create a rectangle on top something like this and after that match the edges so we have to align the edges according to this ends and do the same for the bottom as well so just match the edges alignment and now after that as you can see for this design we got one two three four five six seven seven surfaces are there so selecting that go to object path uh, this split into grid and here let's add seven surfaces so seven division click ok and after that I'll just lock the background first command control 2 and now I'll select everything everything like this and then click on divide and then ungroup it now we follow the same steps I'll just deselect every pieces of the number so with the shift press just click click and deselect all the surfaces and after that just click delete and you are left with the number only now the second thing we're gonna do is to select these rows only the rows and then unite them do the same for all the uh, pieces so all the rows then unite them select this unite select this unite select this just click and drag and select them unite so each of these are uh, rows of pieces is going to be acted as a surface in your design so if you want to give lots of uh, steps to your alphabet you can just go to split into grid and increase the number of division to a large number for now for this design i have given seven for the top one i have given five so if you want to give ten you can increase ten and here you can just group them up individual rows and once you have done that we'll select these alternate surfaces right and after that let's see this is the left facing so let's go to 
effect and before that if you want to apply the color just pick the eye picker and just choose the color and now go to effect 3d rotate and here preview and choose left isometric left and then click ok do the same for the rest and uh, after that I'll just expand this first expand now I'll just select this this and this and I just pick a color this one or maybe this one okay and I'll go to effect 3d rotate and this time facing top so isometric top click ok object expand appearance and now we'll do the uh, adjustments with the selection tool just move it and make it closer to the edges so that there's no like gap in between i'm attaching each of the corners properly so that there's no gap between the lines and once you are done with it and here we go we have created that uh, number very easily select them all and scale up the size and place it around here and after this if you want to change the color or do some adjustments you can easily select them first of all let's select everything there's these these and these and release clipping mask so ungroup them then release clipping mask and now each of the surfaces has been separated you can select them or you can select these the alternate surfaces and apply some say dark color and for the top surfaces you can apply some bright colors and click OK and here we go we have applied that brightness and darkness shade and we have followed the same steps we have done for the word as well as for the number and that is we have used 3d rotate option and split into grid options and that was so easy so in the first tutorial we have seen how you can apply the vanishing point to any alphabet or text and create some amazing steps text effect in the second technique we have seen how you can use the split into grid and 3d rotate option in illustrator and create out some amazing steps text effect uh, in the next tutorial we're gonna work on some amazing text effect so don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and uh, if you like this tutorial show a thumbs up and I hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you